Hello, my name is... An and I'm Mojang's favourite piece of obsolete hardware. At least that's what they told me when they dumped me in here. Anyway, here's ten things you didn't know about village and pillage. Ten. We added pandas to Minecraft. They're so happy to be part of the game that they're dancing. Um, in the sky. This glorious glitch occurred because adult pandas were developed to jump up when baby pandas sneeze. <laughs> Problem is, they didn't really come back down again. But just don't sneeze around pandas and they'll be fine. In fact, we're just going to change the Minecraft box art from this to this. Problem solved. Nine. In desert villages, sometimes cats spawn in libraries, but then they immediately run away. <coughs> Clearly, the problem here is that the libraries don't offer books that appeal directly to cats. So developers, add these to the next Minecraft update, please. See anything wrong with this picture? When the developers added the profession textures, for no reason, the baby's heads disappeared. But come on, who really needs a head anyway? I don't have a head and I'm great, right? Please like and subscribe. Seven. Aww, Art Fox is cute. My heart will be melting right now, if I had one. But when we first made foxes for the game, they turned out like this. Not so much a cute fox as a nightmare fuel of a box. This is a totally understandable mistake. After all, the word fox and the word box rhyme. Here's a list of other potential rhyming based errors I've calculated together. Hey, that last one sounds fun. Six. When we were designing new buildings, we decided to add attics. Unfortunately, dark attics inadvertently became a popular hangout spot for monstrous hostile mobs. Woohoo! Good thing there are no hostile mobs in here. Probably. Five. When we gave villagers the ability to use beds, we must have accidentally typed insomnia for the win into the game's code. Because the villagers just wouldn't get along with their beds. They'd shift around, talk in their sleep and... Oh no! Please don't start losing your heads again. I simply can't understand why the villagers would have trouble getting a good night's sleep. It's not like Minecraft has anything that punishes you for not sleeping. <sighs> oh, uh, sorry about that. Must have a virus. Four. Don't the new villages look nice? I think they look fantastic. And I'm not just saying that because I've had nothing to look at but the inside of a broom closet for almost two decades. All the new villages are built using materials from the biome they're in, right down to the colours used to dye the bedsheets. See? Oh, is this really the only clip of the bedsheets I have? Three. Recognise this fellow? It's a pillager! And it's a real charmer! I'm only joking. It's a total jerk. jerk alert. They're in our upcoming game, Minecraft Dungeons, and now they're being added to Minecraft. It's a concept from lead creative designer Jens Bergenstein. Two. Hear that warhorn? That's the sound of trouble. The sound needed to be somewhat unusual to match the pillager's unusual characteristics. Special, but also easily recognised as an alarm. For example, currently you are... Not alarmed. But now... <laughs> Has it always been your dream to live in a swamp? Mine too! And with the village and pillage update, Mojang is about to make both our disgusting dreams come true. See, if you build a village in a swamp, you'll get special swamp villagers. Just look at them! A bit like a sneezing kitten. They're both gross and adorable. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next month for 10 things you didn't know about... <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and to pick up Minecraft at your local games emporium.